Hi, it's Phil Bedford here, the Rebel Networker, and today I'm with Ron Kaufman, the expert in service and other areas, I think, Ron. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe that's not for film, but... <laughs> uh, in fact, you're, uh, you're here tonight in Dubai doing an event at the Ritz-Carlton, but I believe you're actually coming back in April to do a really interesting event, and I wonder if you'd tell us a little bit about that. I am. I'm coming back on April 16th to conduct a full-day service leadership workshop. Now this is the event where I really lay out the architecture that leading organizations use to develop a strong and sustainable service culture. Notice that I use the word architecture and that they actually engineer the culture because to the winning organizations, Singapore Airlines, Ritz-Carlton Hotel, Amazon, American Express, all of those that are known for great quality service who have that reputation, they're not doing it ad hoc and it's not just because somebody's passionate. They actually know how to engineer the development of a culture and I'll be revealing all of that in the full day service leadership workshop. Brilliant. So, so I mean relationships, funnily enough, a lot of people feel they're not really good at building relationships and other people f seem to be natural at it and, and funnily enough at the referral institute we show people how they can actually learn to That's develop right. relationships can, how can people learn to have a better culture for for their businesses well you know let's talk about what you do in exactly that way you say that you can actually teach people how to build better relationships right you show them the technology for giving and getting referrals mm -hmm. well a lot of people would say no no that's just you know you have to have the chemistry or you've got to know how to create rapport as if it's something magic and you're going no it's not magic when you actually know how to put that together well what you do in the area of referrals is what I do in the area of building service culture I show people what are the fundamental principles that human beings need to be educated about to understand how to think about service, how to diagnose service situations, and how to choose the right actions to do that will create a great service experience. I show people what the 12 building blocks are, activity areas, to be able to construct an outstanding service culture. Things like recruitment and orientation, communication, recognition and rewards, voice of the customer capture, benchmarking. There are 12 of these areas that the winning organizations are doing right. And then finally, there are seven rules of service leadership. That's kind of like the top of the house for the whole architecture. Mm -hmm. And we'll talk about that also at the service leadership workshop. Okay. Now, I realize I might put you on the spot a little bit here. It's not my Go intention, but I'm sure you know your stuff. So, um, if there's one key area that you could give or, or disseminate between two businesses, one that had a great culture of uh, customer service and another one that didn't. What, what do you think would be that key element and what can people take away from this? Well, the great characteristic that would differentiate the two is not what they do with the external customer, it's the way they actually serve each other inside the organization. So when you find an organization where people are saying, well, it's those guys in that department, or hey, that wasn't my job, or no, 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 it wasn't our shift, or that head office, that's not a strong service culture. Mm. But when you find people inside an organization understand what their colleagues want, need, and value, and are taking action to create value for their colleagues, then it becomes so much easier for the colleagues to work together to create a great service experience for customers. So in effect, taking action, own, owning the responsibility for your job and the business and the client to take an action. Taking action to create value for someone else. That's my fundamental definition of the word service. And organizations that build strong service cultures is where everybody understands that and are looking ways to do it even better every day. Ron, that's fantastic. Pleasure to be with you, Phil. It's a pleasure. And uh, by the way, if you're in Dubai in April 2013, do we have a date? It's April 16, and you can learn more about it by going to rightselection.com. They're our organizer right here in Dubai. Recommend you go.